I wonder why we are here, no? You're looking for the name of our company. It's at the bottom, at the back of the board. <laughs> it's an honor to be invited to speak before such an uh, illustrious cloud, uh, crowd as big and as, uh, as this one. Anyway, thank you very much, Attorney Lord Nakapuna, for the most beautiful introduction of uh, me and my wife. And uh, to Evelyn Simpson, to Mon, uh, I know him, Simon uh, Mon Fernandez, was with me, with us in Congress for our, uh, no, for uh, an investigation. <laughs> Hindi pala alam ni Mo na hindi niya ako customer. I'm with Manila Water. <laughs> anyway, uh, we, and also Attorney Lim and uh, uh, Ren Davila. Be kind to me, in your, uh, as always. And uh, to all of you, magandang hapon po sa kanilang lahat. <clears throat> I have the biggest number of stakeholders. Among, among you, because I had 13 million of the NBA and uh, 5 million at the start, the population of Marikina. No? So I'm here. Uh, anyway, we are tasked to tell you of our experiences in public service and enhancing value for our stakeholders, our constituents, and how our family relationship transcended from personal to professional support system and how this lifetime commitment helps sustain each other's individual careers. Till today, we're still happily married. Huh? In 1992, with 25 years of management and engineering experience, I left to my business partner, incidentally and luckily, my wife Marides, the management of our growing enterprise. By then, we have built malls, hotels, industrial facilities, and at that era, the tallest building in the country. It was a hard decision to make, to sacrifice our personal time and income to the thankless job in the name of public service. But she took it with grace, and on her own, she built thereafter a building which stood as the tallest in our country until 2015. And as the story goes, my father, 45 years before, in his time as mayor of our town, Marikina, said, uh, tungkulin ng pamahalaan na ipabatid sa pinakamaliit na mamamayan ang kaniyang mga tungkulin at karapatan sa kapwa, sa mga batas, at kay bathala. And corollary to that, kailangan mang ibabaw ang makatarong ng Kapakanan na nakakarami laban sa pagkakalika niya. And that's anarchy. In the elections of 1992, which made me mayor of Marikina, I presented a comprehensive program of government premised on the above, which served as my guide in transforming our town to where it is now. By this time, my fascination in construction has passed. And I have great ideas about public service, enough to put my adrenaline to action and put forth the following. As mayor, I am to build character, not structure. I'm done building structure. So I, I set out to build character. And if I build any structure, in the, in, 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 and in everything we do, it should build character, discipline, good taste, excellence. And with vision, will, and action, we hit the ground running. And for a start, politika sa banqueta. I have set the sidewalks as the battlefront where I shall confront everyone to effect that much needed change. And to this I say, a man may be king in his domain. But once he sets foot on the sidewalk, he has to know that he is part of a society and have to follow its norm. 
Politika sa bangketa eventually became disiplina sa bangketa. That gave Marikina the opportunity to change what seemed impossible at the time to achieve. Marikina is already clean and in the pink of health 24 years ago. With every child knowing mumuntin basura ibulsa muna. We greeted the millennium, year 2000, maybe the first in the third world, as the first city in the third world with all homes with toilets. And we're the first and only city to this day with a food laboratory right in the marketplace, in the public market for that. We are squatter free since 20 years ago, in city relocation for all the 30,000 squatter families in our commun in our town. We have instituted a five minutes emergency response time, ambulance, fire and police, better than the 911 of America. We have walkable sidewalks. We have broad discipline. And we have, we have considered the city is the school for everybody. The best city hall that we have, no people need to go. That is the, uh, the, the that's what we now call uh, uh, ease of doing business. You don't have to, to go to city hall to have it. Dress code in city hall, no slippers and no shoes. Kahit magbabayad ka ng million million, magsapatos ka mo na, bumili ka sa palengke ng sapatos at pantalon, but you will not be allowed entry into the city hall. You have to respect the city hall as much as every employee in that hall is respecting you. And the city hall is the second most important edifice or facility in any community, next only to the church. We have drug quarantine. We have no animals on the streets and no animals in homes where in homes in high population density area. You cannot even have a dog or a cat or any animal in your house because 80% of diseases are transferred by way of these animals. We have a usable river park, seven kilometers long. We have 14 kilometers of jogging, jogging lane along, along the river. We have uh, the first ever bicycle lanes covering the whole town. And many others that are worth your note. On and on until my last day as mayor and succeeded by my wife, she continued my unfinished works and established notable projects on her own as I attend to a much bigger role. Year 2002, I was called by then President GMA to the MMDA with only one marching order. Do, do what you did in Marikina. What you did in Marikina, do it here in Metro Manila. And so I did just that and at will. And as media has defined, defined it, is the media who defined it as political will. I promoted to the last day of my stint as chairman of the Metro Manila Development Authority. The MMD, as many of you old, old folks may remember the Verdugo in, the, in his passion for clearing, demolition of structures, vendors, garbage on the sidewalks and roadways. I remember 2002 when we first cleared the Bisoria, as you can see it now, yeah, orderly and good to see. Now, uh, then we have the foot bridges, we have the U-turns, we have the wet flag, we have the mob mobile office, we have the mobile jail, organized bus route, no contact apprehension, nose in, nose out, yellow lane, Metro Guapo, pink line, pink everywhere, bawal mak nakahubad, bawal tumawid, ito nakamamatay, cleaning waterways, flood control, street dwellers, care unit, Commonwealth Avenue, elevated U-turn, Guapotel, Cadena de Amor, 
road railings and fences, if ever did any good, at least it added to our vocabulary. <laughs> the very thought of the Verdugo in the mind of many helped to quell any revolution and made it easy for our operatives to do what seemed to be undoable those days. I am proud to say that I cleared 60 to 70 percent of our Metro Manila roadways, which served as a model to follow for the local government units in the country, then and now. Proud that we did all this in 18 years without killing, let alone putting to jail any person. I built the, most, the best jail in the Philippines on the, on the top floor of our, of our justice hall. You can see the best jail, but I never sent anybody to jail. Wala akong ginawa ni like a good father, sinaway ko lang lahat ng tao. Ang mga taga Marikina, in Metro Manila, I did the same thing. And uh, I think it worked at, to, to a certain degree. <laughs> And I attribute this blessing to the dedication of all those who worked with me, each man to his calling, with my respects for them all. They should be proud that we made Marikina the most livable city, and to this day, the most manageable city in the country. With my dear wife, while my dear wife was busy as mayor of Marikina, and I as MMDE chair, Luckily, fresh from school, our daughter came on board to manage our business interest. Since my unsuccessful bid for the vice presidency in 2010, ambitious, no? Huh? And the mayor's uh, three-term limit ends with both, and uh, the, my wife, the mayor, three-term limit ends with both had a respite from we had a respite from public service. Elections of 2016 and after 16 years of absence in the political scene in Marikina, I ran and won to represent the first congressional district of the town. And now I own my second term and as deputy minority leader in the House. And far from becoming Speaker of Congress of the Philippines and consigned, now consigned as deputy to my wife for life. And uh, so I set out to build character, as I said earlier. And I'm happy and proud to say to all that Marikina has become bayan ng ugali, bayan ng mabubuting tao. And all over town, I'm now carving this in stone for everyone to remember forever. And this will be a reminder to every Marikinian they have to protect that one good thing for all of us. Oh.